I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you how I spring clean my kitchen. I've already done another video in this series and that was spring cleaning the bedrooms and I said that I'd be doing all different rooms and this is the next one that I'm doing. In my previous video I did mention that I have a morning and an evening cleaning routine. The morning cleaning routine just sets me up for the day and the evening one sets me up for the morning. Kitchen wise they both just include kind of wiping down the surfaces, emptying the bins if necessary, doing the dishwasher, just kind of typical daily things. And then weekly we have a lady who comes in and cleans for us and she does a bit more of an in-depth clean. So she does all the same stuff that I do but she also steams the floors, wipes down the cupboards, but she really kind of focuses on it whereas I'm doing it with a toddler hanging onto my leg and a baby in my arms. So yeah, she does a bit better job than me. My spring clean is something that I do, I'd say yeah, every kind of three months. Just give it a nice deep clean like inside the cupboards, the oven, the dishwasher, stuff like that that you just don't have a chance to do more frequently than that. So without further ado, here is my spring or seasonal kitchen clean. So this is the kitchen after it's been tidied and just had a kind of morning clean, so it's ready to go with the deep clean. So I'm gonna start by putting some music on. I like to listen to really motivational music, so I think I'm listening to a workout playlist here. And then I'm just gonna pop my hair up so it doesn't get in my face. And open the windows so that I can get some fresh air in. Right, I'm going to start with the dishwasher because it's something that I need to put on at the beginning so it can work its magic while I do everything else. So I'm going to take this, I don't know, is it called the drain out? Um, and give it a bit of a clean because it is filthy. So I just pop it in the sink with some washing up liquid. I'm using my method one, which is all natural. And I use my fingers to clean this bit because it's kind of like a papery material and I don't want to use a brush and break it. And then I just use the brush to do the metal bit because that's fine and I think it's come up quite nicely. So I pop that back in the dishwasher and then I just put a cup of white vinegar into the rack and I put the dishwasher on the longest, hottest wash that I have. And then I work on the oven because this is something that I want to, again, like leave while I'm cleaning everything else. It's really hard to explain. So I take all the trays out and I pop them in the sink with washing up liquid and I just lift off any of the dirt that I can and then leave them to soak. And then I mix baking powder with water. I do about four parts baking powder to one part water and I just baste it onto the inside of the oven and I do the same to the microwave as well. And then I put white vinegar and some essential oils, this one's lemon, and I just spray that onto the mixture and it bubbles and foams nicely and then I just leave it. And then I do the same to my hob. I probably don't need to do this, it's something that can be wiped clean with wipes. Um, so it's probably best for like a gas hob or something like that, but I just like to do it every so often, more for peace of mind. And then I get my Dyson handheld hoover, I do on top of the TV, I do the radiator, the hard to reach places, I do on top of the cupboards, which gets so gross, and I do like the corners of the ceilings and stuff like that. And then I use a mixture of Dr. Bronner liquid castile soap, water and essential oils, and my scrubbing brush to scrub the top of the cupboards. They get so disgusting, look at that. To be fair, I didn't do that in my last seasonal clean, so it has been built up for a while. And then I use my Method anti back spray and just wipe it away with a disposable cloth and it just makes it smell nice and fresh. And then I work on the high cupboards, so I just do the doors and the handles, and then I go inside the cupboards. So I take everything out, and I do it shelf by shelf, because otherwise you take everything out and it makes a big mess. And I just do the back and the sides, the inside of the doors, and I put everything away neatly. It's a really good chance to kind of reorganize things and throw away anything that you don't want to keep. I didn't have that much to throw away because I do minimalism sweeps quite often. And then while I'm up at the high level, I work on the extractor fan. It looks like it's kind of stained or hasn't been cleaned properly. I don't know what I can use on it, so any tips would be really helpful. But for this, I just use the Dr. Bonner solution again. Um, and anything underneath that's a little bit harder to get off, I use the scrubbing brush for. And then I do the splashback and I also do the walls just with the Method anti back spray. I don't rub too hard on the walls because I don't want to take off any of the paint. So for that I use my magic eraser which is brilliant. And I also do underneath the cupboards and like around the light fittings. And then I work on the surfaces, so I take anything like the kettle, the toaster, sugar teapots, give them a wipe, I empty the toaster crumb tray, and I also descale the steriliser. I do do this a little bit more often than four times a year. And then I wipe down the sides, behind where everything was with my anti-back spray, and put everything away neatly. 
Then I do the same to the bottom cupboards that I did to the top. So I work on the outsides, the insides, and I do the drawers. So again, I just take everything out, give everything a wipe down, and put back in what I want to keep. And again, it's a good chance to get rid of anything that I don't want to keep. And then I do the same for the fridge and the freezer. So normally I would take the trays out and I'd wash them properly, but we had a spillage the other day, so that got done quite recently. So I'm just giving them a wipe down. For this, I'm just using my method anti-back spray and then putting everything back in. And I'm also doing the skirting boards. So I do this around the whole kitchen because they get so grubby now with Jensen's down at that level. And I'm doing the windows with an e-cloth and just water because that's all you need to use with those and just the frames and then little things like the light fixtures as well. And now I'm going back to the bits that I'd left at the beginnings. I'm using a scrubby brush just to lift up any of the dirt, a piece of kitchen roll to get away any of the excess and then some method anti back spray and some kitchen roll just to kind of give it a little bit of a shine. So I'm doing the same to the oven as well and then wipe wave and I think this came up really nicely. And then I'm doing the outside because I don't see the point in doing the outside before I've done the inside because stuff always dribbles out and gets messy. And now that I've finished the racks from the oven and stuff like that, I'm gonna work on the sink. So I pop some baking powder and white vinegar inside and give it all a nice scrub. Jensen scrubbing hold of the tripod, which is quite getting a bit wobbly. And then I just wipe it all away with water and it's just nice and clean. And then I work on the sides. I always leave this till the end because otherwise I get things that fall out of the cupboards when I do the upper ones. And I'm just wiping them down with my anti-back method spray. I'm doing the same to the table. And it probably seems silly, but I do the underneath as well because with Jensen's at that level, he's always grabbing onto the table leg with his sticky fingers. I've got loads of fruit and juicing at the moment. And then I'm using the Dr. Bonner solution and I'm just spraying it on the chairs. And then I empty the bin, obviously this gets done pretty much daily, and just giving it a bit of a wipe down with the anti back spray. If it's really, really gross, then I do properly wash it outside, but this just needs a wipe at the moment. And lastly, I'm just changing over my little scrubby brush handle thing. Again, I do this a little bit more often than just four times a year. Um, and giving everything a little bit of a wipe down just with a dry cloth to kind of get rid of any watermarks. And once the dishwasher cycle, it's missed it up a little bit. <laughs> once that's finished, I just take that out, pop that away, and I pop some baking powder in the bottom, and I put it on for a quick wash. And that just kind of gives it a real freshen up. And then I wash my reusable cloths. I hoover using my Dyson handheld, and then I use this method multi-purpose floor cleaner. It's a really good one because you don't need to use water, you don't need to rinse it away. My box broken, which is why I'm using a cloth, but it just comes up really nicely. Well guys, that is my kitchen spring clean slash seasonal clean cleaning video. I hope you guys liked it. It got a little bit tricky in the end because Jensen woke up and I had him like crawling around by my feet. Well, I hope you liked it. If you did, please do give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below, let me know how often you do a deep clean like this, if there's anything that you think I missed out that I should be doing. And yeah, if you wanna see more videos like this, like I said, I've already done my bedroom seasonal clean video, but I've also done like my morning cleaning routine, my evening cleaning routine. I do minimalism kind of organizational videos, so I will link all of those below. Thanks for watching, bye.